What do you love the most about Italy? The landscape, the culture, the food? My name is Vincenzo from the food blog Vincenzo's Plate. And through eight foodie and adventure field days, I'm going to unlock what I love, the secrets of the greenest region in the boot, my native Abruzzo, where I grew up. I now live in Australia and haven't been back for a couple of years. So not only will you get to meet my family and friends, but together we will cook and eat our way through some of the treasures of Italy's best kept secret. Welcome to Italian Explored with Vincenzo's Plate. Welcome to Abruzzo. Buona, welcome to the fattoria d'Abruzzo. Ti ha fatto la ricotta di mucca. Certo. Vai. Tante altre bontà. From È Pratola. È una questione di gusto. Yeah. <ride> Un abbraccio a tutti gli italiani e all'estero. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Sulmona Market. This is Piazza Garibaldi, one of the biggest piazza in Italy. And in my opinion, this is the most beautiful market in Italy. You know why? Because it's surrounded by beautiful mountains and beautiful ladies like this one. Signora, che ci mangiamo oggi? Il zucchine. Il zucchine, quella tua, le zucchine? Eh? Dell'orto, l'ostra? Sì, sì, sì. Allora, ce ne mangiamo un paio di zucchine? Eh, ma però, no, tu lo fai da oggi. No, ma ne mangia qui, c'è crudo. Crudo? Eh. <laughs> She knows how to cook, eh? She knows how to cook. She really knows how to cook. <laughs> She's explaining us how to cook zucchini ripiene. So we're basically getting three big zucchini homemade. Quante signora? One euro for this beautiful organic, fresh stuff. Signora, un bacio. No, 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 no. <laughs> You can buy beautiful salsicce, homemade sausages, beautiful cheeses, beautiful products from Abruzzo, from, from the street. Look, look at this. Where do you get this? No, no market in the world would sell you something homemade. Look, this is a prosciutto that the gentleman made, look. You can tell, made with love. This is why Abruzzo is so beautiful, because it will give you the real Italian experience. Let's go and see more. Look at this. Look how big this is. Look, they probably got this this morning from the, from the ground. This is fresh, not organic, fresh, guys. Look at that. Look. Buongiorno, buongiorno. È possibile avere un tartufo, per favore? Un tartufo. I'm just about to get a beautiful truffle. Local truffle. Look at that beautiful bag of fresh truffle. This is Abruzzo. Ah, questa è l'Abruzzo. Diciamomi un po', guarda là. This is a rock. This is truffle. And here we have the Abruzzese porchetta. Here the Sulmona Market. This is Italian street food, guys. Panino with porchetta. Look at that. Look at that. È vero la vostra porchetta la migliore? Sì, abbiamo vinto due anni il campionato italiano. You believe it? For two years in a row they won the competition of the best porchetta. Si può provare un pochino? After very good taste. To see if it's true. Vediamo un po' se è vero. Ah, oh, wow, questo è grande. Guarda qui. That's a taste. Questo è giusto un assaggino, allora. Mmm, the crosta. Mmm, that's how you can tell if it's good or not. Amazing. Porchetta abruzzese. Mm. Quando vi devo? No. Grazie. Australia, un bacio della signora. Guarda qua, look at this. Cosa sono quelle signore? Le ciliegine? Le amarene. Le amarene del posto. Le amarene. Capito? Guarda qua. Questo qua invece, signora? L'aglio rosso di signora. L'aglio rosso di Sulmona, the red garlic from Sulmona, which is very unique, very special, vero signora? Solo a Sulmona nasce questo. 
90 years old, look at this. You should come to Abruzzo, because you live forever in this city. Tante belle cose. Grazie. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Can you believe it? Red garlic from Sulmona, hey. Love it. I've got a new tie for today. Fresh seafood here in the market of Sulmona. Ciao. Local fresh produce, look at that. They even sell it to you with a leaf. Where do you find a leaf? You know, around the world people say organic, things like that. This is fresh, guys. It's not to say organic. Look how big this is. Io voglio vivere a casa vostra. It's from Australia, too. Look at the figs, look. Four euro per kilo for fresh figs. Ah. Mm. The taste. Getting amongst the local produce will give you a real appreciation for what the Abruzzo terrain harvests. Every Wednesday and Saturday morning, local farmers bring all kinds of seasonal produce to sell in the piazza. And the hardest part, choosing what not to buy. Guys, we have an Australian here in Zulmona who's got this beautiful shop here and he grows this beautiful fruit and vegetables. Can, can I have your shop? Yeah, okay. Do you miss Australia? You go, you stay here and I'll go to, uh, to Australia. Oh, let's do that. Okay, I'll get your shop, I'll give you my wife. No, okay. Okay? <laughs> we do that? Maybe. <laughs> Guys, here we have a piece of uh, history of Abruzzo, the conche. Conche, the, in the old days, we use it to put um, water inside. You put water, then you put a piece of, piece of cloth on your head, like that. And my grandmother used to do it, and then you put it on your head like this, and then you carry it to, to your home with the water. Let me see if I can do it. No, it's too difficult. I don't know how my grandmother did it, but this is part of our culture in Abruzzo, a conca. This is easy to carry, a smaller one. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Done. Sada fa la spa. La spa. Un tovagliolo arrotolato. Con la conca grossa e quello si regge perché gli fa da Che aiuti, fa da, ti fa da, da, da. Okay. E quello si reggeva. Mia nonna così di... faceva, infatti. E camminavano belle sciolte con la conca su. Tutti me. insieme, le donne. Yeah, all the ladies used to walk together in groups <laughs> like this and walk together with the conca. <laughs> This is used to make um, a traditional uh, thin waffle uh, called ferratelle or neole, and that's what we use. You basically put it on the fire, you press hard, and then you get the ferratelle. You put Nutella in the middle, you put them together, and you enjoy. Italian hat. Looks good. Grazie. The setting of the markets is picturesque, with the entire piazza surrounded by Gothic arches of an ancient aqueduct, which line the entrance and welcome crowds made up of both locals and tourists. Matane! A dopo! Our next stop in Sulmona is perfect for a sweet or two and proves there's much more than meets the eye when it comes to sugar-covered almonds. Ciao! Ciao! Here from Sulmona and this is the Pellino Confetti Factory. So this is, uh, what you can see here, this is an, um, an old utensil that used to be used to make confetti. And it's just beautiful, this room is a museum. So you have to come here and see it. But I want to learn more about confetti. Antonella explained that confetti are sugar-covered almonds that the ancient Romans once used as a token when celebrating births or marriages. Originally, they were white in color, representing purity for Christians. In Sulmona, confetti commenced being fabricated in the 15th century, when a monastery of nuns began using it to decorate floral bouquets, wheat stalks, and rosaries. Match this with the incredible flavor thanks to the purity of the sugar used, and confetti soon became widely recognized. 
The Polino factory we are visiting today is a family business that developed a simple recipe that became so well known it was the reason Abruzzo was recognized as the capital of confetti. Over 230 years on, the original methods and utensils continue to be used and the family recipe remains unchanged. Oh, oh wow. Tiramisu confetti. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Tiramisu in a confetto. Mm. I want a big bag. Mm. And here we have a bag of confetti from Sulmona. I'm going to eat them now. Bye bye. Brought some confetti flowers for the ladies, so here it is. One for you, you so and one for Thank you. you. Time for a group hug. <laughs> oh. This is another piece of history of Sulmona. It's where the water passed through. It was built in the medieval era. Can you believe it? In the 13th century. Look at that. Still here with us. Every summer here in Sulmona, many Canadians come to study opera. And every night, you can enjoy a free performance of these students of opera. So it is just amazing because you can enjoy your aperitivo or gelato in the piazza or in the main street of Sulmona and enjoy this beautiful performance of these students. So it's just amazing. And also in September every year, there's an international opera competition at the beautiful Theatre Caniglia here in Sulmona. So we can see that culture in Sulmona is very, very important. Vincenzo, yes, so now you know that Sulmona is the town of confetti. But did you know that it's also the town of love? No, why? Why is it our love? Because it is the hometown of the Latin poet Ovid, which is the poet of love. So nice. Such a romantic city. Mm. And erotic too. So who is uh, Ovid? Ovid? Ovid was a Latin poet, and you have to know that he was a friend of the Roman Emperor Augustus, who was the nephew of Julius Caesar. Oh, the Imperatore of Roma. Ah, oh, yes. we are So, Francesca, what makes Sulmona so special? Well, Vincenzo, here in Sulmona, you can find two, about 2,000 years of history, mm. all condensed in, in this beautiful historical center. Mm. So, taking a walk here in, in Corso Video, the main street, is like walking in an open-air museum. So, you can admire monuments for, from different era. Uh, from the Middle Age, so the 13th century, to the Renaissance, uh, the 17th century. The Baroque. For the Baroque and, and, now and the Roman times, so <laughs> it's just amazing. Us? Ah, let's enjoy this beautiful coffee. <laughs> and a little bit of bocconotto mm. with marmellata. Yes. Look at this. Mm. Look at this break, look, look at that. Very good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so what's the history about this bocconotto? Mm, it comes from um, a town in Abruzzo called Castel Frentano. So this is typical because you have to know that each town in Abruzzo has uh, typical dishes, mm. typical mm -hmm. sweets and cakes. So um, such a variety of True. food, mm, no, varying from the coast to the mountains. So no, it's just no, amazing. And what about the chili? Mm. <laughs> um, is it from Zulmona? No, no, um, no, no. They're, they are typical. Uh, yes. Um, um, different parts of Abruzzo. So usually mm. grape jam is used to make this 
which is very yeah. special. Mm, yeah. Great, um, man on the man on the very good one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. This is Italy. You don't have to buy water from the shop. No way. Look. You get fresh water from the mountain. And this is good water. After venturing from the main piazza and down a cobblestone path, we come across larger-than-life wooden doors with a sign indicating we have arrived at our destination. Upon walking inside this award-winning bed and breakfast, we are all equally in awe. Taken aback, we are greeted with the warmest of smiles from our endearing host. The decor, the ambience, even the temperature in the foyer of Il Marchese del Grillo were enough to make us take a deep breath and forget the buzz of the city outside. Each room unique and impeccably styled, one more exclusive than the other. It isn't long before we realize it's more than just the decor that will leave you feeling like you've entered another world. I, I really love the mix of contemporary art and the antique. I don't know. I've, this is motivating me to come back to live here in Abruzzo and, and, and just live in a place like this. Look how wonderful it is. Guys, this is Il Marchese del Grillo. A bed and breakfast here in Sulmona, number one bed and breakfast in Abruzzo, number three bed and breakfast in Italy. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go to TripAdvisor and check it out, Il Marchese del Grillo. Amazing food. Hey ladies, are you having fun? You enjoying it? Amazing view. As you can see, look at this balcony. Amazing music, relaxation, and I'm ready to go and enjoy this piece of paradise. So while the ladies are eating, I'm gonna have a beautiful glass of Prosecco, thinking of you. From the rooftop, you will find yourself in the heart of the greenest region in Italy, and the feeling is overwhelming. The view, remarkable. Amongst a backdrop of the highest mountains you ever did see is a mix of every shade of green you can imagine and divine flowers budding in every corner. And like our Japanese friend says, Kampai! Kampai! We are surrounded by three national parks here. So I think we are in a good spot. Yes. Over yeah. there we have the Gran Sasso d'Italia National Park. Behind us, there is uh, the Maiella National Park. And over there, we have the National Park of Abruzzo, the biggest in Italy. And the first one in Italy. And the first one in Italy. And did you know that Abruzzo is the greenest region in Europe? <laughs> yes, and you also have to know that almost 75% of animal and vegetable species of all Europe can be found in Abruzzo. Mm. And actually, more than 30% of the territory of Abruzzo is protected. So it's really the greenest heart of Europe. That's why it's so amazing. Yes, but it's not only this one. It's more. It's just more. Yeah. Much, much more. Much than that. more. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Now we are going to make zucchini fritters, a classic Italian from north to south that everyone loves. The world, the entire world loves it. This is very nice because it comes straight from your garden and you need fresh zucchini, the fresh eggs from your chickens. And we create this beautiful, simple dish that you can have it as a snack, as an antipasto. So let's see what we need to make this beautiful zucchini fritters. So to make zucchini fritters, we need four beautiful fresh zucchini that we want to grate them very, very well. We put a little bit of salt, we let it rest for 10 minutes so we get the water out. Make sure you squeeze it very well so we get all the water out. And then we put four eggs, 
four big spoons of pecorino cheese, grated pecorino cheese. We put one uh, plain flour, one spoon of plain flour, and three tablespoons of self-raising flour. We mix it very, very well, and then we cook it in the beautiful olive oil. Make sure you take all the water out. You don't want any water in there, and this is the consistency you should get. Look at that. Now you want to warm up the olive oil, just a little bit in a saucepan, and then we get a nice spoon of this beautiful mixture, and we put it there. Yum. So make sure you fry them one minute per side. In about two minutes, they're ready to go. Such a quick snack or appetizer to have with your family. You put it there, you put a little pecorino cheese on top. Simple Italian food at its best. Thank you guys for watching this beautiful episode. And I can't wait to show you more of this beautiful Abruzzo. Thank you. Mm. Bye. Various, various ages. No, aspetta. No, perché ce lo diciamo? Have a good time in Sulmona? Sì, you like uh, it? Where are you from? Uh, Canada. Veniamo dal Canada. Oh, Canada. Ma io sono abruzzese. Ah. Toronto, Toronto, Canada. Ciao. Yeah. How are you doing? Everything okay? Oh, oggi, today is Canada Day in Canada. From, from Tokyo <laughs> to Sulmona. Are you having a good time? You enjoying the market? Huh? And, and this is... Good water. Oh, sorry, I'm going to be in the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>